just struck my car. How could this have happened? I'm such a good driver. And I always pay very close attention. How am I going to explain this? If I was only not talking on my cell phone while I was driving, I could have avoided this accident. Oh, great. I just received a ticket. Now my insurance is going through the roof. The purpose of my speech is to persuade my audience that talking on a cell phone while driving is a bad practice. Talking on a cell phone is a controversial topic that they wonder if it is more dangerous to talk on a cell phone or not. Today I shall inform you about the advantages, disadvantages, and some of the pop possible solutions of talking on a cell phone while driving a car. Cell phones are becoming more advanced in technology every day. A person can be anywhere and do just about anything from emails to buying stocks on this little handheld device. The advantages of owning a cell phone can be it can be helpful in everyday life. A cell phone can help you stay connected with family, friends. According to Switch.com, the total number of cell phone users are 250 million, or 82% of all Americans have a cell phone. That's a lot of people. A cell phone can help aid in any time of need while driving. When an accident ha occurs, it helps to get aid like the cops in response. A person can conduct business like Roadside assistance in case you have a mechanical failure, run out of gas. A cell phone, <clears throat> cell phones do play an important part of our everyday life. Sometimes, sometimes it may be necessary to use a cell phone while driving. Many states, many states have actually put a ban on driving while on the phone. The states are Connecticut. New Jersey, New York, Idaho, and California. According to TGDaily.com, Governor Schwarzenegger banned teenagers from having a cell phone within arm's reach while driving a car. Which, this I agree with because there are becoming more young drivers every day on the roads and more accidents. They're not experienced enough to be doing this being doing this and focusing on their driving skills. Cell phones also have disadvantages while driving. It could be a huge distraction. If the pastor is over there playing on their phone while you're driving. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety states that drivers are four times more likely to have an accident while driving using the cell phone Here is a picture of a car accident from driving while on a cell phone. Talking on a cell phone is not the only thing. Texting is also a big distraction. The new drivers are becoming well aware of. Not only can a minor injuries happen, but also death can occur. According to LifeScience.com, cell phone distractions cause 2,600 deaths and 330,000 injuries in the United States every year. A possible solution, although not a good one, is using a hands-free device. This can help save lives, but it does <clears throat> but it does keep your hands mobile. Some cell phones are being built with a voice dual voice dial which you just say the person's name and they'll uh, call the individual. This helps keep your eyes on the road or just pull over to the side of the road or to the parking lot. This is actually the best thing to do. This keeps your eyes on the road instead of on the cell phone. By pulling over, there would be safer roads and less accidents. Now that I've talked to you a little bit about the advantages, disadvantages, and some of the possible solutions of talking on a cell phone while driving, I know, <clears throat> excuse me, I would like to encourage you not to be using a phone while driving. It only takes a second 
of taking your eyes off the road for an accident to happen. I hope the next time you are in a vehicle, whether you are the driver, the passenger, I would rather you not be on the phone. It's not worth losing your life or the person next to you.